And here we go. Took me a few minutes to get this knocked out, but uh, yeah. Now you can see some of the extra effects I threw on this sucker. Had to get rid of these. They're the plastic drive shafts. They were fine, but you know, this one here, the end of it fell out. So I figured that's not gonna be too useful to me. I wanted it to be as bulletproof as possible. This one was good, but wanted to upgrade. So we got the metal ones on there. Now those hold up really well. I've tested them on a few other crawlers. Functionality on this one, decent steering, acceleration. So I won't have any problems using that. And this of course is the model that I upgraded everything on as far as this brush, this motor here. And then the Max ESC on there. Some adapters to make sure it would plug right on in. These are Traxxas Max tires. Nice and soft for crawling. They'll balloon on anything that runs 4S or 6S, you know, pretty badly. But on this, which just has some nice speed, won't be much of a problem. As a matter of fact, they're a lot wider than the originals, so that gives it more stability. The T-Max shocks that I added, all those red thingies there. I even threw some adjusters on it to raise the height a bit, put a little more tension on the springs. So it gives me um, plenty of resistance on and off road. Don't have that problem of you know, being too soft and bottoming out and hitting the edge of the body or anything like that. You can see how I drilled holes and installed my LEDs for my tail lights. Same for the headlights. There's a switch there so I can adjust my roof light. This is what we're looking at here. Nice little beast with, uh, give me a second doing all this one handed. With the flip of a switch over here, I should be able to turn on what I call ground effects. Little dollar store piece that I threw on there to illuminate the body and under the chassis. Works out pretty well. And then, of course, that bright old thing there. Now, normally, I'd give it about a half hour or more to set in with the uh, grub screws and the drive shafts, but not really necessary. I screwed them in nice and tight. And as you can tell, pretty durable. If I can crash it into trash cans and more, and have no problems out of it. So now I've made it as bulletproof as possible, within my budget. And, uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and show you again the uh, innards. You've seen the bottom. Still using body clips, only I've added the little tabs for easy removal you know arthritic hands go through some things so right here open the door got it hinged and all that good stuff there's a little switch right uh oh don't, lock, don't slam on me stay open if I reach in right back here I've got a switch I put in so that, let's see if I can get you a look at it. Yeah, that switch right there, it's hanging there. That switch is how I turn on and off the FPV. The battery in it is a 6400 milliamp, I think it's 25C, yeah, 3S battery. 
doesn't rattle the fallout or anything. Of course, I've got the module inside for the engine sounds. We're looking at the speakers for it right there. And of course, that brushed this motor I threw in, and that's the Traxxas Max escalator, which will run up to 4S. I'm only running this on 3S because, as you saw earlier in the video, it was already popping wheelies and doing burnouts and basically spinning around and flipping even on these stable tires 17 millimeter hexes allows me to put several different styles on there and then back here is the battery I'm using for the FPV I did a little bit of work in RC Guy Garage's room on Facebook and suggested that battery keeps from overheating your transmitter for your FPV. It's taped in over there. This one here is a 600 milliwatt. And the camera, of course, is mounted on the windshield so that you get that true perspective of driver's side first person view. And again, here we go with my little light switch. So give me a second, I'll flip that off and get rid of some of this extra illumination. The other switch just turns that on or off. But yeah, I set it up so that I can literally trace this battery here. Here. And I've got it taped in on the side here. The receiving end. Oh, give me a second. One handed again. But it's a JST plug on the battery and a JST plug on the FPV module. That's right here. I can basically plug that in, test my battery with the balance lead to make sure it's charged up, or easily access and charge it with my hobby charger got two of them one of them right there I use the high-tech for everything non Traxxas and then I use the Traxxas charger which is right here charging up the 4s 100c disc uh, 100c lipo battery that's in the green machine ran that earlier I put the D boots hooms wide felony rear tires all the way around it that's a low C chassis that I picked up as a nitro car gutted it added electronics and that sucker easily does 45 or more as an 8s escalator hobby wing max 6 motor to match that's like a 23, if not 27 T pinion. Original shocks, all that stuff's right. Phone chargers, don't mind those. Original shocks and everything else from the Nitro. Using Velcro to hold my battery in. Not too illuminated right now. Apologize for that. And that one has a Hobby Wing Max 6. That's my configuration of my lights. Everything else out of the way, nice and clean and neat. Now this has the um, telemetry for the battery so I know how much power is in the vehicle while I'm running it and even can set alarms on that specific radio to make sure you know you don't over discharge your batteries or anything magnets to hold that down roof rack lights front hood lights headlights Customized up, ready to go, working properly. 
had it running so fast earlier on uh, the max tires that here in the rear I actually got some scrapage under this spare tire holder that was a um, 